when you teach your children to be discreet in what they do, in family matters, in family uh, discussion, in how they behave, they tend to take this far in life. They tend to keep family secrets, you know, they tend to understand that things that are talked about, family discussion should be treated with regard and respect and not just anyhow. Welcome to Mamsi Bertat. Wow. You know, I'm so happy to be here with you today. So, if this is your first time of joining me on my program, this is Mom Zibata, a talk show where we talk about family issues and problems and also our possible hacks and solutions on how to resolve those problems. So, if you're joining me for the first time, please make sure you do click on the subscribe button to become a subscriber and also click on the notification button to get notified of every bit of videos that I'll be bringing to you. Thank you so much. So today, I'll be talking on the topic, the importance of the compass family values. The importance of the compass family values. You know, every family that we see out there should or imbibes or most family have these family values. What are family values? Family values are laws, set down laws and uh, um, uh, rules that family, every type of family or different kind of family adhere to and sees it as a tradition over time because it become a tradition when consistency is involved in its practice. Family values most times are being transferred or being observed from generation to generation. They are set from, you see some families, they'll tell you that this has been our family value right from the time of our fourth generation past, uh, our first ascendant past. So that is how it has been. Every family that you see out there, every family that you see out there that makes a difference, that you envy, that has a different a uniqueness in them, if you check out, there is a difference which is called the compass family value. And what is this compass? Why did I have to text it under this contest compass? A compass is a guide, a compass is a directive, a compass is a lead, a compass is a map. A compact is a pathway. So, a, anybody can, any person cannot involve in a journey that he has not sojourned before without a compass. You will agree with me definitely that if you sojourn in a journey that you don't have a compass, you are really programmed to have a distraction or you are not going to get to where you are going to. You end up moving in circles and I know that you will not want to move in circles. So family is always new whenever we come into its setting, whenever we come into the format of family, when we want to raise children, when we are, are, are meeting our spouse for the first time. So it's a journey that we have not sojourned before. So it is very important that we hold a compass as a family. So there are different compass and there are different guides through which every family can raise as a family value for themselves. Why is this family value very important? It's very important because it creates distinctiveness and it also, you know what, it creates a trademark for a family. You see a particular family is known for holiness. You see some people, you say, ah, oh, this man, you look like somebody that I know, you look like Mr. John, and Mr. John is known for, he's, he's very, very funny. So it's like a value, it's like something that they know them for. So a family value makes you to, to, to be known for a particular thing and a unique, uniqueness. So there are different ways and there are different uh, measures through which you can raise family values. And number one is that you can imbibe this through the, uh, 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 raising and creating it with your spouse and also your children. Let everyone be involved when you are creating this family value. 
let it not just be from a father alone just lay down laws and like a tyranny and wants everybody to follow after it no let's not be from the mother alone it's gonna be from the father and from the mother and the children most time they can involve themselves maybe in coloring you know drawing cutting of cardboards and you know this card this is what you're going to do certain days you must always do this you must always do that so it is important that everybody engage themselves in building those laws for the family that will enhance the better flow and easy lifestyle in the family why is it so it is so because if everybody is involved in it it makes it a most obligation for everyone to what to obey and serve those family values some people tend to you know put this away they don't talk about family values but it's an important arm in parenting a very important arm in parenting it's not supposed to be shaded out it's not supposed to be removed from the picture it's supposed to be practiced so that you can have a better family life so Number one of the practices which you can raise as a family value is, uh, or as a culture, is called maybe descriptiveness. Why is it important that most time people raise some values like descriptiveness yeah, in, their, uh, in, their, in, in, in their homes? You know, when you teach your children to be discreet in what they do, in family matters, in family uh, discussion, in how they behave, they tend to take this far in life. They tend to keep family secrets, you know, they tend to understand that things that are talked about, family discussion should be treated with regard and respect and not just anyhow. So it's very important also you lay those as your family values, if you choose. Also, what are other important family values that people might like to raise and abide in their family is the culture of love. You hear some parents, they will tell their children, oh, my daughter, in fact, even if we are outside, does not mean that they should behave like this. Even if your friend treats you like this, does not mean you should behave like this. Remember our family value. We always learn to love. We always love even when people throw things at us. And that will make that child to come back to himself and understand, I know where I'm coming from. I'm not just coming from anywhere. I'm coming from somewhere. So family values are very, very important. And when you lay traditions like love, it goes far and makes even the family, the family a better place and the nation a safe and lovely place for people to dwell in. Third one that people can try to imbibe in our is fairness. Train your children, let them understand the importance of fairness. Many things we see in the world today, many um, um, deaths and many problems and many killings and many um, vices here and there is because most times we have not trained and imbibed in our children the spirit and the culture of fairness. It is very important to create it in them. You start it by as little as the little things you share among them. Be fair in what you share to them. Be fair in the love you share among your children. Be fair in the toys you buy for them. When you buy toys for A, buy for B, and buy for C. So when you are doing them like that, they learn to understand fairness from the cradle. And it will not be hard for them to be fair when they handle some political positions. When they handle some things in life, they will understand that there is a place where I'm coming from. And the place I was coming from, this is what I grew to know. Number four is holiness. Teach them how to be pure in heart and pure in spirit. It is not about saying to your children, it's about doing. Because children learn more from doing more than saying. They learn how to look at you. My first daughter, when she wants, most times when I'm doing something, when I feel sad, she'll tell mommy, why are you feeling sad? Your face looks sad. And I got to understand over time that children learn from doings more than saying. So as a parent, when you're imbibing your family cultures, when you are imbibing anything, you don't just set rules, but you do them. You are sure in being carrying out your duties. You teach them, this is holiness, this is what I taught you about, this is how to be pure. And you as a parent, you must do that. You must be pure in your doings, there must not be corruption in things you do. They should not hear you saying some things on the phone that are not good, illicit and illegal and unpure. By so doing, you see them growing in that line and 
in that format yeah so this is what i'm talking about there are lots of many of them flexibilities you can teach them how to be flexible in making their laws most time if things doesn't work out the way they want it they don't have to kill anybody they don't have to they don't have to jeopardize anything to get anything but they have to just learn how to be flexible a little bit and they will always know sometimes life also balance them by bringing that thing which they have always wished for to come to pass there are also many traditions which you can lay for your family you can learn faithfulness yes you ask yourself what is faithfulness yes the bible says also i'm not trying to be you know bible here but we have to talk about it he that is faithful little is faithful much so you must also teach your children how to be faithful teach them how to be faithful even in their marriages if, if you can teach them faithfulness there will not be promiscuity there will not be um, infidelity in marriage when they grow because when you tell them my child have you ever seen this with me they'll tell you no i've never seen this with you daddy i've never seen this with your mom so they don't have anything to do with unfaithfulness they are always unfaith they are always faithful in other ways so thank you so much for joining me and listening to this program Keep on sharing, share it because you might not know who this will meet. You might not know how this will affect another person's family and it will end up thanking God for you. So, if this is your first time I mentioned again of joining this channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification button. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I know also you can share your comments in the comment section if you have anything to say that will help one or two persons. So, until next time I come your way again, I remain. Morm Zebra. Bye.